Hello, I'm John Sinclair. Welcome to the studios of Hermitage FM, a programme about to get underway, underway shortly. Before that, though, uh, let's talk to Dave Sullivan about the Liverpool game, first of all. Uh, obviously disappointing, but um, City played pretty well. Yeah, there's a lot of doom and gloom again on the social media, and I, I guess they, continue, they continually will be while we're not getting results. Um, I thought in parts we played very, very well, attacking-wise, created a lot more chances. Um, restricted Liverpool to three scoring chances, three on-target scoring chances, and they put them all away. But I think defensive errors for me, John. Defensive errors that could be avoidable, and we could be getting something out of these games. I bumped into a fan before the game, and had nothing good to say about Nigel Pearson. We know about Pearson's spat with a fan as well. Where's this coming from? I think there's a lot of people out there that don't like Nigel Pearson. They're making themselves very well known. Um, but equally, there's a lot of us that do. Um, I think if you look at where he's got us from where we were, we were at our lowest point when Nigel took over. You know, we're in League One, miles from anywhere. He's got us all the way to the Premiership. Uh, I think this season he's made a, a choice, rightly or wrongly, he's made a choice to stick with players that got us there and the manager that got us there. And I think the board have made that choice as well. Maybe one or two people are coming up a little bit short, but fair play is, is given the players that got us promoted the opportunity to play in the Premier League. Everybody's got a theory about what's going wrong, haven't they, as well? Yeah, everybody's uh, a critic at the moment. Everybody's a potential England manager. Uh, everybody knows what's right. I think if it have made five or six summer changes that people are talking about now, maybe there'll be people saying, why not stick with the team that did well? He's stuck with a team that hasn't done well, and now people are saying, why not make the changes? So the, the poor guy can't really do right for doing wrong, and that's, that's part of being a football fan, isn't it? You're always going to have an opinion dependent on results. Uh, news coming out that he's looking for a, a defender to add and a striker to add in the January transfer window. No great surprise there, I suppose. I don't think anybody would be surprised about that at all. I mean, I, I picked up uh, the newspaper earlier on today, and uh, there we go, on the back of, uh, on the, back of this evening's Mercury. Uh, wanted striker and centre half. More talk about uh, Jermaine Defoe, which is interesting. Um, Although yes, Harry Redknapp will have a chance there. I was he? just going to say that uh, Defoe will be a great signing. I think everybody would like to see the likes of Jermaine Defoe uh, wearing a, a Leicester shirt. We have had some high-profile players in the past when we had Sven with us, of course. Um, but I would think if there's a choice between us and QPR with a relationship with Defoe and uh, Harry, he might go there. I think he's got to spread the net. I think he's got to look for a quality striker. Um, and I think. Uh, we probably need to, to pick up a centre half as well. You know, we haven't seen Matthew Upson play yet, though, so we've we've potentially still got a new signing that we haven't seen. Uh, Aston Villa on Sunday, of course, uh, a team up until the last game against Crystal Palace were in a bit of free fall. Uh, a good chance for Leicester to get a result. I think so. I mean, I've been positive all season. I think for me, we've not been outplayed yet this season at all. Uh, the other night, okay, we conceded three goals. The previous game, we conceded three goals. But their goals, that, in, in my opinion, were slightly given away and probably defendable. Um, I think it's an opportunity to go to Villa with the same attitude that we had on, uh, on Tuesday night. Play uh, wide players, take the game to them, chase the game. I don't think Villa are a great side. I think we can get something out of it. I really don't. Alan Young's been going on about playing three centre-backs. Whether that would stop the goals going in, we don't know, do we, though? I don't know. I think uh, Tuesday night... Uncharacteristic in some ways, but Wes Morgan was at fault for uh, for a lot on. Uh, of course, he'll be summer. missing on Sunday. He will, um, and maybe that's an opportunity to try something different. Uh, I would expect he'll bring Liam Moore in. Uh, he might bring up in. Who knows? But I would expect he'll bring Liam Moore in to play alongside uh, Vasilevsky. Um, and if they do well, and if they keep a clean sheet, maybe Wes won't get back in. Who knows?